Massachusetts man is accusing the Roman Catholic Diocese of Worcester of concealing key evidence in his lawsuit against a priest. Edward Gagney says he was a victim more than 20 years ago of sexual abuse. For the first time, he's telling his story on television. Here's New England cable news reporter Alan Cohn. 34-year-old Edward Gagney never wanted to tell his story on television. But today he is waging a battle against the very same Roman Catholic Church he once wanted to serve as a priest. Gagney has filed a lawsuit against the priest who he says robbed him of his innocence and the church leaders who he says turned a blind eye. Bishop Flanagan wanted to meet with me alone. I do remember him staring at me and he said specifically that I must never tell anyone that the church will take care of this. Lawyers representing Ed Gagney and a woman who also claims to have been sexually abused by another priest in the Worcester Diocese are charging the church is stonewalling. They say the diocese is withholding witnesses and documents which they say would support their claims. Over the years, charges of sexual abuse have resulted in indictments, convictions, or lawsuits against at least 16 priests from this relatively small diocese. The resistance Gagney says he's meeting, according to Phil Saviano of the Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests, is just part of a continuing pattern. Historically, the, the response in the Worcester Diocese is not to remove the priest, but to reassign him, get the priest set up in another community, and uh, enable him to continue this sort of behavior. Saviano is himself a victim of another Worcester priest, Father David Holly, currently serving a 275-year prison term for aggravated sodomy in New Mexico. I was not the altar boy, but I was the newspaper boy. I lived just up the street from the church. So. Saviano says he was one of Holly's first victims, the abuse taking place at St. Dennis Church in the Worcester County town of Douglas. In the process of preparing a lawsuit against the church, a suit he has since settled, Saviano came across numerous letters from the Bishop of Worcester to his contemporaries in other states asking for a parish job for Holly. In 1971, the Bishop of Worcester wrote to the Bishop of Wilmington, Delaware. For this man's own peace of mind and the good souls, the Bishop wrote, we have determined that he should seek an opportunity to work elsewhere. Holly was transferred to Texas and to New Mexico, where he allegedly left a trail of victims. At first I was shocked, and then I was really angry, because I, I couldn't believe that they were taking such chances with this guy. And uh, it seemed that all, all of their concerns were, were poor Father Hawley. You know, we need to pray for him, we need to give him another opportunity to work and, and you know, minister to people. And it seemed like there were never any concerns about what's, what was happening with these kids. I've not seen documents like that Ray Delisle is a spokesman for the Diocese of Worcester. There was never, to my knowledge, any policy that would be effective to ever look for another diocese to take a priest that had been accused of, of, of sexual misconduct. We showed Delisle the letters and he later responded that in each case the Diocese of Worcester told the out-of-state bishops of the priest's problems and... Certainly today we have come a long way from, just as everyone else has, with, with the ability to put together and to enforce good strong policies and to also be able to make it clearer to everyone that we really are first concerned with those who have been abused. But Delisle will not comment on Ed Gagney's charges that the church is stonewalling in his case. Ed Gagney is pressing forward with his lawsuit. A trial will be held sometime after the first of the year. The attorney representing the church says the diocese is conducting its own investigation and that the matter will be resolved in the courts not in the media. But in that particular document there is... Today, Ed Gagney works with young people in the city of Worcester's Office of Employment and Training. For this man, who as a boy wanted to serve his church and his God as a priest, this is not the life he expected. I was scared. I was frightened. Um, I was disgusted. And, that, and the only thing that I've said to this day is that if men of God can do this to me, then anything is possible. Yet Gagney says he would settle his lawsuit in a second if and only if the church offered him an apology. Alan Cohn, New England Cable News, Douglas, Massachusetts.